Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you another short pocket pen. This is a Caveco Sport pen and it was sent by Caveco for review purposes, which I thank you a lot for. Then, if you usually like the videos that I make, please don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. The pen comes inside this little black cardboard box that you've seen a million of times here on my channel. It comes with a black little booklet with the history of the brand and the warranty and also the shiny little sticker. And we open the box and we take out the pen that comes inside this plastic sleeve and Let's take a look at it. So, this is a Kavec Frosted Sport. This is the line that came to replace the older Ice Sport. You have an example of it here. And I made a video of about the this line, the, the Frosted Sport, so you can check it if you want to see the overall characteristics. But what I have to say, it has chrome trim, which means that the logo on the top of the cap is chrome. Then you have the engraving engraving on one of the eight facets of the cap is chrome color also and says Caveco Sport. Then it has a cylindrical barrel. On the bottom it has some quality control and made in uh, markings and made in Germany. And it has this very nice knurled little thing. When you uncap the pen, you have quite long for the size of the pen, it's not a long, but for the size of the pen it is, a long uh, section, hourglass shaped section, and sorry, I hit the camera, and here you have a fine nib, a steel fine nib, very shiny, it says Caveco, and it is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and double broad. So there are lots of them available. And there are also calligraphy nibs. And on the other side, you'll see there the Caveco logo on the plastic feed. You can unscrew it easily. And inside you have short international sized cartridge and a long, quite long section, which and because it's all made of plastic, it makes it, makes it very suitable for eye droppering because it is translucent. And I don't know if you can see because of the lighting, but it is translucent. You can see the cartridge inside. I don't know if you can on camera, but believe me, you can. So this is can, it can be eye droppered and you will see the level of ink inside easily at least if not that easily against a light source. About the size of the pen, it is very, it's quite small, not very, very small, but small. It comes over this web of the hand, at least for my hand size. For bigger hands, it may be like this, or if you like to hold your pens higher, and it is not comfortable, but for me, it still is comfortable, but it was meant to be posted. And when you post, because it has a very long cap, it posts also very deeply and it makes it a very comfortable pen to hold. So it is very comfortable to write with, although it's quite light. Now let's see some size comparisons and the size comparison that I do is always with the Parker Centennial to fold. I always, I sometimes change the color of the pen that I use and the Lamy Safari All Black and you can see that the, the Caveco is really a pocket pen, short one. When you uncap the other two, but not post, and when you uncap and post the Caveco Sport, it becomes of the same size as the other two. So it's really a easily usable pen. You just have to post it. It's not that small. Now, about the color comparison, and this is something that's very hard to do, at least in on video, but I want, I always try to post some pictures of these on my blog or on Instagram or on Facebook. 
but I want to show you next to some other pink Caveco sport pens that I have just for your color comparison because sometimes you may want to see how it compares with some other Caveco pen that you may have and so let's do it. This is the Blush Pitaya, as I told you, the Caveco Frosted Sport Blush Pitaya. This is the Ice Sport Pink that I showed you before, so very bright pink. Then, let's see, I will go for a very subtle pink. This is a special edition for China, which is Rose Quartz. You'll see that and you think it is white. And I don't know if I can show it next to a paper, but it is not... Let me show you. It's not white. It is like that... Uh, some very light strawberry ice creams. It's like that. So, this is the rose quartz. Very, very light color. Almost white. Then you have also another Chinese edition, which is the strawberry. And it is more it's darker let's put it here it's more close to that one and here you have the skyline pink this is the regular edition that you can find on stores very much brighter than that one so you will see we have very different kinds of pinks and then just for final comparison a color that is very hard to to, to show which is the the coral from Fontoplumo, from the 2020 edition, from, uh, exclusive for Fontoplumo. This is the coral edition, and you may see it is a color that is close to that one, but it has more orange tone to it, so when we put it next to pink pens, it looks orange. When you put it next to orange pens, it looks pink. <laughs> so it's a funny color, hard to describe. And let's take this out and go for the writing sample. So, here we are with our pen and paper and let me show you how it behaves. This is the Caveco Frosted Sport Blush Pitaya with a fine steel nib. The ink inside is divine design pink which is a very bright pink ink that i received from zix ideas from spain a spanish distributor of uh, stationery and the paper that we are usually using is the usual rodia or rodia dot pad and let's see the writing with this pen is really smooth. Not glassy smooth. It's not... You feel that you're writing on paper and I find it nice, but it is a very light feedback, not a heavy one. It's very pleasant to write with this pen. About the ink flow, it's really nice. It keeps up even if you write really quickly, it doesn't skip. It's very well tuned this nib. I find that this ink is a little drier and I'm talking about ink not about the pen. I think the pen puts down a good amount of ink on paper and I saw that with some other Cave exports from exactly the same line so I'm not comparing older nibs with newer nibs from the same kind and I find them a little bit wetter. This ink is not that wet but when we show you the wetness of a pen it's always very subjective because it depends on the paper and ink and many other stuff. So, about the line variation, you can try to force some, but it's not really meant to do it and you won't have a very uh, lot of pleasure doing that. It's, you have to force it hard. It, ma it makes no sense. About the line, it has a very, I think it is a real, uh, real fine. And if you try to write it with it on the reverse, yes, it does write. And it writes with a much finer line. So the, fi the, the line that we can get on the reverse is this one. You can get this on the regular side. And if you press it, you can get a little bit more, but not that much. So, 
Overall, this is a very nice pen, very quite small, but it becomes a larger size and comfortable to write with it for a long period of time. I personally prefer the metal Caveco pens because they are a little bit heavier and feel nicer on the in the hand, but this one is nice also. Otherwise, I would not collect Caveco sport pens. And so, I hope you like this review. I hope this is useful for you if you are watching Caveco videos for the, same, for the first time and if you want to have lots of videos there on my channel and you can also join our Facebook group of Caveco collectors and users so you have a very passionate community of Caveco fans there. And this is all for today. I have to thank you Caveco for sending me the pen for review Thank you a lot and thank you all that are watching my videos continuously and I really appreciate that. This is all for today. I hope to see you soon. Bye.